Welcome back my cogs and gears. This is Indigo Nix with another video. I apologize for the long absence as I was just trying to get some stuff together here and get everything figured out. Uh, Alright, so today we're going to talk about a subject that may be not that important to the times but still pretty near and dear to my heart as I am a cat owner. Um, is the subject of declawing your cats and feeding your cats a vegan diet. Um, this can also be applied to dogs as well when it comes to feeding dogs vegan diets. Um, as you can probably guess, I am not too big into the idea of declawing cats as well as feeding um, any carnivorous animal a vegan diet. So here's the thing. When it comes to declawing an animal, or declawing a cat. It's not like clipping nails. Claws are a part of the cat's paw. It's like chopping off the top of their fingers. How would you like it if someone came and chopped off your fingertips? Not very pleasant. Really, if you can't handle your cats clawing up your stuff, then don't have a cat. There are ways around making sure your cats don't claw up your things or yourself is one is to train your animal. Cats, well, maybe according to modern me popular media, um, say that cats are untrainable. They're actually not. They're just like any other animal. You need to just train them. They just may be that you don't have don't get to train them like a dog because um, cats aren't dogs. So stop treating them like dogs. You'd be surprised if you actually pay attention to cat behavior and treat a cat the way a cat would be treated, how they will be more likely to align themselves with what you need. Um, if you're trying to get them to not claw on your stuff, try to give them their own furniture, make sure they have their own toys. Cat towers are really, really, really great, making sure they have their own space. Um, it's usually one way to make sure that they don't claw up your stuff. Um, another thing when clawing up you is, um, one, don't present your hand like a toy. Uh, that usually helps. Uh, don't irritate the crap out of them where they need to swipe at you. Um, there's going to be some cases where you can't help it. Um, when they're trying to get from one place to the next, they are going to use their claws to do things. So you are going to run into a couple of times where they are going to possibly scratch you. Um, if you accidentally step on your cat, your cat's going to take a swipe at you. Um, so it's going to just be kind of a reality of having a cat, just like a reality of having any other pet that you're going to probably have to deal with is some of the downs of having that animal. Um, so if you're not really ready to deal with the possibility of that, uh, don't have that animal and don't declaw your cats because that's horrendous and inhumane. Um, the other thing that I would also say is don't have your cats on a vegan diet, especially if you're just trying to make a point. Cats and dogs are non... Um, they don't have really have a... Uh, I forget the word. It's non-something. Um, they're carnivorous animals. They don't really get a choice in eating regular food or reg non meat products or byproducts like cat food and and um dry cat food they don't really get a choice beyond that because their body can't process vegetables and other things they are as adults naturally lactose intolerant so they can't even drink milk um and there are some vegetables that are very 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 poisonous um to uh that are very, very poisonous to cats and as well as to dogs. Um, you know, there are some things that they can munch on as snacks, but they are going to need to eat meats. Um, so if you're an anim uh, somebody who doesn't want to feed meat to an animal as a vegan, don't get an animal that's naturally carnivorous. Get an animal that is going to eat mostly vegetables, like an iguana. You know, they eat just vegetables, guys, or a hamster eat just vegetables, but I would something like a pet. Iguanas are fucking huge, by the way. Iguanas, you can walk. Um, so, or guinea pigs, or rabbits. You know, rabbits, you can pet. 
Rabbits are really, really fun. Um, so get a rabbit. There, there's a couple downsides with rabbits, just because they've they've got poor health and everything. But you know, if you got if you gotta be all like, I gotta make a point about not eating meat and da 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 da, and this is a meat free house. Da da da. Get your fucking self a rabbit. Um. So, don't have an animal that is going to need to eat meat. Because you're going to attention basically starve them to death, if not directly poison them. Okay. Now I can understand some people maybe not wanting to feed their cats or dogs um, the regular cat food, more um, regular uh, dry cat food or regular dog food and all that, just because that stuff can be considered pretty um, bad for your health and all that stuff. Um, and so for those people who are, you know, trying to avoid that and probably go for the more healthier stuff and they think it's healthier for their animals, um, maybe even making their own cat food or dog food out of, you know, the proper ingredients based off of what their vet has told them is appropriate to feed them. Um, I've heard of the raw food diet for dogs. Um, it's... You know, as long as you're going off of a vet, if you're going to do that, then you should be fine. I feed my cats Friskies and the, you know, the Friskies brand. They're fine. Haven't had a problem with them yet. Occasionally they'll overeat and they'll throw up, which is actually really common with cats. They'll throw up at least once, maybe twice a month. That's pretty freaking normal, especially when you got cats that use their mouths to clean themselves. They're going to be swallowing hair from time to time. Um, even if you grew, even if you're pretty good about brushing them every month, they are going to vomit. Um, so yeah, just, just don't declaw your cats, please. And, um, don't feed them a vegan diet. Your animals are not here to service you. Okay. They're not accessories or decorations in your home. They're a part of your family. They are you know, living, breathing creatures that feel pain, that have needs, that even have personalities, that you need to treat them with that level of respect and dignity. You know, I, I, I understand, no, they're not human, but you're the one choosing to take care of them. They don't really get a choice in that, you know? It's the same kind of concept behind, like, what I said in, like, my video about, like, raising kids um, appropriately. It's like, there's this inherent selfish idea that because you're in a position of power, speaking of which, somebody found a jingly ball, um, and brought it right next to the mic. Do you know that I'm talking about you? Is that why? Um, but just because you're in a position of power does not magically mean that you get to be selfish or be a horrible person to the people who are your subordinates, you know? So I would seriously don't do that, you know? Don't be like that. Realize that if you're in a position of power, that is a responsibility, not a privilege. And that you should be respectful of the people who are beneath you, whether that be your pets or your children or what have you. Um, stop playing these little mind games. Stop being the little madman. Stop doing the heart of darkness thing where I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm in a position of power. So that must make me a god who can do whatever I want. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so... Yeah, um, so that's really what I have to say on that subject when it comes to pets and stuff. Um, so before I go, you know, uh, check out my Patreon and or my Ko-Fi. Uh, Patreon, you can be donating uh, once a month, however you'd like. I got as low as $5 a month, get some extra special bonuses. Um, I've got some of that wow chicka wow wow or, you know, kind of artwork on there because I can't show that on YouTube. Um, kind of exploring with my horizons. There's possibly going to be some comics on there soon for some other ideas um that i have i would really check it out if you are somebody who would like to support this channel but can't exactly do um donations every month you can go check out my ko-fi where you can leave me as low as three dollars of a donation just to check out my work um 
Also, you can easily contact me for any art commissions. I love the ideas. I love spreading my talent. I love being able to get more ideas and build up a portfolio, but I also do like getting paid and just help support the channel. Um, you can also check out my DeviantArt, my Tumblr, my Twitter, the my Facebook page. They're all in the description below. Just spread your support, like, and you know, subscribe. Subscribing is 100% free. Um, so just, you know, whatever, do what you can to help a fellow YouTuber and creator out. Um, all of that information will be in the description below. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and finish up for today. Uh, keep looking for my videos. I'll try to be a little bit more on schedule this time around. Now, admittedly, I am going to be going back to school in the spring time. So January to May may be a little bumpy. Um, but thank you for your continued support. And i uh, check back in next week where y'all can uh, hear about my other things that I need to talk about with y'all. All right. Bye.